Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the WWE Retro John Cena action figure. That's right, Mattel is releasing a new line of WWE retro style figures that look like the old Hasbro figures that I grew up playing with. I thought this was such a fun idea, so I had to scoop these up, and we're going to start things off by taking a look at John Cena. As you can see, it comes on blister card packaging that also does a pretty good job of paying homage to those old Hasbro action figure packages. It's got an image of John Cena in the background there, and over on the right side of the figure, you even got a little circle that says, Authentic Superstar Moves, letting you know that this figure can perform an attitude adjustment. Flipping the box around to the back side, and you get a little demonstration on how to do the attitude adjustment. It tells you how to pull down one of his arms and then release the arm to unleash Cena's attitude adjustment. Hilarious. I love that on the box. Down below that, you can also see some of the other figures that are currently in stores and a couple that are coming up, like The Undertaker and The Ultimate Warrior. So let's go ahead and get this guy outside of the packaging and take a closer look at him. So as you can see, the figure stands just under 5 inches tall. And he's in that kind of short squat build that all those old Hasbro WWF action figures were in. I think this thing does an incredible job of capturing that original action figure style while also still being a little more modern. For instance, that head sculpt on there definitely looks like John Cena. A lot of the older figures there, which we'll look at in comparison time later, um, you know, they were a lot more cartoony, I think, in sculpt. They weren't quite as lifelike. So this definitely has a bit more of a realistic sculpt of the head. Uh, but overall, I think the entire figure really captures that vintage feel, and I love it. Uh, the figure feels nice and solid. It actually feels uh, a lot like the same material that the old figures were made of, which is very cool. You can see he's kind of got that shiny plastic look, which is exactly what those old Hasbro figures had. He is, of course, sporting uh, some signature John Cena merch there, like the wristbands. He's got the little band going around his bicep, and of course the hat that says, You Can't See Me. Now, the figure is bright and colorful. The paint is a little sloppy in some parts. You can see the armband's got some sloppy paint. The hat could be a little cleaner, but minor uh, complaints, really, because overall, I think this has is a pretty great-looking figure. Uh, I love it, and you can see he stands perfectly. He's well-balanced. Of course, there's not a lot of articulation on these guys, because it's all about the action feature with these, which is just like the originals. So, on John Cena here, the head can turn left and right, the arms can move up and down, and they're actually really nice tight joints at the shoulders, which is going to be good, because he's got to be able to hold another figure up for his attitude adjustment move. Uh, there's no other articulation in the arms. His action feature is in his torso here, so he's got a crazy spring-loaded feature, which looks really, really funny, uh, but the spring-loaded features was a big thing on those old Hasbro figures, so that's kind of fun. You can also swivel him at the waist, which is pretty cool, and then no articulation in the legs whatsoever. Those are static, but that gives him a nice, solid base. So, pretty fun figure. But let's play with that action feature, shall we? Let's see. Oh, no! I've got Brock Lesnar! Lesnar's here, but that's okay. Cena is going to take care of him. Oh, he picks him up! Okay, so just like on the vintage Hasbro figures, they always called the moves that they do after their signature move, like the attitude adjustment. Obviously, this isn't quite an attitude adjustment, right? Uh, he doesn't pick him up just like this, but just for fun. Here, actually, I'm going to turn him around this way. That way, at least he'll drop him kind of... Uh, in a similar fashion, but basically, you pick the guy up, you cock his body sideways, boom! There it is! John Cena pulling off the attitude adjustment. Here we go. Let's do oh, oh no! Lesnar's trying to kick out. Here we go! Boom! <laughs> that is seriously fun, and it's cool that it works just like the originals. And again, obviously, that's not an attitude adjustment, or quite like it. I mean, it's similar, but he's basically picking the guy up for a gorilla press here, and then throwing him off to the side. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but it's so fun! I seriously, it's it's hard to stop doing that. It's so much fun. But let's do this. Uh, let's, for a little bit of fun, 
comparison time. So this is the vintage Hasbro WWF Undertaker figure. You can kind of see these guys standing side by side. In fact, I've also got Ted DiBiase. Let's go ahead and bring these guys in here. You can look at them all side by side. Kind of give you an idea. They always had a little bit of a different look. Like, obviously, uh, Undertaker and Ted DiBiase here, they're even sculpted a little bit different. The head sizes are even a little bit different. But they all still look like they're part of the same line. So it's kind of cool getting to pick up some of these new uh, modern superstars uh, and then adding them to this vintage Hasbro lineup. I think that's fun. And we also know that we're getting some other characters in this new Mattel lineup, like an Undertaker that's more of a retro style because he's wearing purple. So that's kind of fun as well. Well, here we go. Undertaker with a clothesline on Cena. Oh, right into Ted DiBiase. Wait a minute. Cena's not having any of that. Uh-oh. Look out, Taker. Oh, he got hung up by his boots. There we go. Attitude adjustment. <laughs> So much fun. Well, there you guys go. There is a look at the brand new John Cena retro figure from Mattel. These are hitting store shelves right now. Uh, I found this one at Walmart. They might actually be Walmart exclusives at the moment, and they retail for $9.99, which I think is a great price for a fun little toy. Uh, collectors like myself who grew up with these, I think, are really going to love and appreciate these the most. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends.